Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining. I'm your host, Chris Gennaro. My co-host is Peter Lloyd. And today we have Iniquitous Deeds. How are you guys doing? Awesome, man. Good, how are you doing? Thanks for having us. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for coming oh, yeah. on. Um, uh, I guess just say who you guys are and what you're, what you're doing in the band. Uh, my name is Matt. I play drums. All right. My name is Nika. I play guitar. Iniquitous Deeds. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, I think we're going to start with the obvious stuff. Uh, your last full length was in 2015. Uh, so what the fuck have you guys been doing? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of, I mean, I moved away for a second there. We started to get some new stuff going. And, uh, you know, I, I moved down to Ventura for a while, which kind of pushed us back right around. Uh, we played our la the last show we played was in Vegas, 2017, the Las Vegas Death Fest. Shit, okay. And right after that, I moved to Ventura to actually work for Obi for his uh, tile company. Oh, he's our vocalist, Obi. Obi, Obi, Obi yes. Flett yeah. from uh, Pathology Inherit Disease. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so that kind of said, I was down there for a year. You know, I didn't really have a good time. I just, it didn't really work out. So I just moved back. And then me and Matt, you know, he, he lives up here in the Bay Area. And I had moved down to SoCal. So that was a little bit more difficult. So once I moved back, me and him kind of sat down with the material we had already. And we're like, you know what? Uh, let's sit down and kind of get everything organized and kind of reinvent this. And uh, we just kind of took our time and we've been taking our time, uh, but we've really come across a really awesome, you know, album that we're working on right now. So it's just, just, you know, circumstance, just years and years go by and you just, <laughs> but yeah. uh, we are working on an album. Yeah. It was kind of the thing where like a lot of it <clears throat> for a kind of a large majority of that time, there was really nothing like substantial going and then like you said when he came back up uh like yeah we did we sat down we kind of combed through the little bits and pieces and shit we had and then you know really like made an effort to get together you know because we hadn't been able to do that in so long at the same time you know same room uh and just kind of like you know work it out and then it was just like you know we just like kind of figured the whole thing out and it kind of kind of came together like the skeleton of it like pretty fast which is cool you know yeah so is it is it all written now yeah it's... so I, I would say the best way to sum this up is that we have the baby now like there's you know we have all the songs but now it's like the like he says the tedious part because you're like okay i need to tweak all the little tabs do i want this pinch harmonic do i want this pinch harmonic and you know he's changing different drum parts our bass players you know fucking with other little bass parts so it's kind of like we have our baby but we need to detail it and make it album ready. You know yeah. what I mean? So put all a little tasty bit right. in there. You know? Nice. Yeah. Spice it up. That's exactly. right. <laughs> Before Excellent. it's set in stone forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So far right now, what it is, drums is like, all right, which one of three kinds of last bass am I playing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, mix it up. A bit. Are, are you guys recording yourselves at all? Or uh... yeah. yeah. Yeah, we plan, we, we plan to do this next album almost entirely DIY. Yeah, I mean, as much um, as we, we did the, the first one we recorded to all ourselves mm -hmm. uh, and then mixed it uh, within the band all ourselves. And then we sound got it mastered. But uh, yeah, I think that, I mean, we're just trying to do as much as we can just within the four of us, you know, uh, just just I don't know. It's kind of just cool to do it that way. And we're all just we're really wired to be like DIY about stuff just because, you know, um, like, for instance, with doing uh, guitar tracks. Right. When you do like D.I., you know, instead of taking two weeks off work or whatever, you know, you can sit and do it at your own pace, get it cranked out nice, exactly how you want it. So we kind of like, don't like having the overhead pressure, overhead pressure. Yeah. So that way it could just come out as beautiful as we want, you know? So. Now your, your full length from 2015, that was not Obi though, correct? No, that was our old vocal, uh, vocalist, uh, uh, Mike, yeah. Mike Simon, okay. uh, Cerebral Engorgement. It's his main band. Yeah. Okay, because I, I think I was trying to check it out, I, and uh, I checked out one of Obi's other bands enough so that I realized that his vocal style is not dissimilar um, from Mike's. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? I mean, so yeah, like guttural, you know what I mean? I mean yeah, it's like a... Yeah. Like it's it's, it's similar, little... but everyone's got their own little, you know, pizzazz to yeah. it, you know? 
<laughs> yeah, because Mike had a very like sort of gur- I don't want to say gurgly, but it's like it. it- I was fuck gurgly. Yeah, fuck very gurgly. Yeah, <laughs> <it's like, laughs> <fuck>. Very <laughs> bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a he's a beast of a vocalist. Too. Yeah, that guy's, he's he's nasty. And yeah, multi instrumentalist too. You yeah. know, like it, it, in Cerebral Engorgement, he did all the instruments basically. You know, for a long mm-hmm. time. So. Yeah, cool. cool and and as we do with all the interviews we'll put the the links to all the other bands we talk about in the for description sure. um so if we talk about something and you're like who the fuck is that go down to the description check a link uh, you know figure out some new music and stuff so uh, do you have any timetable about when the baby is going to be maybe in <laughs> the gonna arrive? in front of like five years, or like <laughs> five years. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. uh i don't know no i mean that's kind of like uh a, a big thing like he was alluding to why we like to do DIY DIY we're all like super hands-on people anyway you know spend a lot of time just like tweaking every little thing like he said like what kind of pinch harmonic for this one you know like really uh detailed work oriented people and uh so that's kind of the benefit of doing that is a we like to do it um and b we can just kind of do it whenever it whenever it's right you know there's no oh you got this studio time for 10 hours or whatever you right. know like bust this album out they've just now we're just gonna do it all our own and and kind of leave it all up to us which is i don't know it's cool yeah and yeah. it's just like taking take advantage of like you know all the advances in technology that we can even do this kind of thing and make it sound you know semi-professional at least you know yeah and uh <clears throat> so we're we basically took that because again 2015 that was our last album and we're like we need to get this thing done so we're not going to play any shows so we get this thing at least recorded because yeah. we need to stay focused. It's been way too long. So we're, I mean, silence doesn't mean inaction, right? So it's like, we don't post a lot of stuff or updates, but in the background, we're working really hard to get this thing done, you know, yeah, I mean, just we, the we, right way. We talk about it like, I mean, like kind of ju- just about every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. 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 So. We're very tedious and, and nitpicky about mm. stuff, me and him especially. So we're like, oh, what do you think about, you know, let's do this. Yeah. And, but I mean, that, to, to answer your question, uh, no, we don't have a timetable, but uh, I think we have hopes, you know, over, I, I, I don't even know if I want to put like a specific year on it or whatever, but <laughs> I'm really, really hoping it's like next year. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But we'll see. Whatever. Cool. Do you guys write a lot of the material like together or do you like kind of like come up with the parts on your own and then like send them to each other or is it mostly written, you know, like in the, in the same room? So we've kind of changed how we write yeah. stuff. Like, you know, we had that first EP, which is our demo. And then we had the full length and uh, we use guitar pro a lot. Right. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with guitar pro. Oh um, yeah. This guy is the fucking master, <laughs> master, <though>. master <laughs> at using Guitar Pro. I I, first, I remember first going to his house and sending him my old tabs, and all the bars were just red because I just <laughs> yeah, didn't understand like much, anything yeah. about it. He's like, "Bro, what the fuck are you <laughs> doing? Do this, do this." Hacker and, the matrix of that. Story. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's funny because like you know the EP songs I had written like three of them, and then he had did like he has done like one the majority of one of them I think what metamorphosis yeah something like that that it was just like (laughs) a lot of that was written on real guitar and then he introduced me to guitar pro uh and so the next album well actually a lot of that was written not even on instruments it was just like we would go back and forth and send each other guitar pros and we would just be typing out the tabs ourselves i didn't even have a guitar just Mm -hmm. because i was so used to it so we were kind of writing outside of our capability um, at least for me, one guitar, you know, I mean, he's insane, so I can't speak for that, no, just- but, <laughs> but, uh, we used to do it way more like that, but what we ended up finding out was once we started learning it and playing it, it's like, you know, you can't tell if a, like, a chug section on Guitar Pro is heavy or not, because like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, you know, me and him always go back and deciding, oh, do we want to keep this riff? Do we not? And I'm like, well, we don't even have the right context to make that call yet. So a lot of incessant was that. It was a lot of computer writing mixed with some guitar jamming and me and him Mm kind of just like, because he plays guitar and every other instrument. And I play a little bit of drums. So I have understanding. (laughs) So we're able to kind of like intermingle and stuff like that. And then this new album, we've been sitting down and actually in person, I've been like, jamming the guitar more and because like i said he's the master guitar pro i'll be like you know oh this riff's sick you know he'll be like okay let me tap that yeah 
And, and it's like, oh, this is productive as hell. <laughs> yeah, because like when we, before we really started writing, like when we were trying to comb through all the little things that we had and like try to figure out how we're going to approach it, I really, really, really wanted to do just jam it out, you know? Just be like me on the drums, him on guitar, just kind of figure the whole thing out and have it happen like supernaturally. And then I don't remember exactly why that didn't, it wasn't as like productive or like the, it wasn't as fruitful of it as I was hoping, I guess. And then we ended up just kind of like doing like a little bit of the, like marrying the two where he's got the guitar and I'm just, you know, so uh, it can't, I, I mean, once we figured out how to do it, I think it came out really quickly and and naturally too you know it was really easy to get the flow of things you know and this the sound came out so much better because it's it's more organic it's catchier it's yeah. not like typing notes into a soft and software like you know what i mean like you're not I even mean, playing it yeah you know, some of the guitar pros sound like shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know that sounds cool on guitar yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah i was when you're doing that i'm like envisioning mario like sort of like yeah. Up yeah. 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 Is that yeah. pretty much that's what it sounds like <laughs> exactly, it's like yeah. brutal mario when you play it back and you try to you got to try to transcribe it in your head like what would that sound like with like proper instruments will that, you know? yeah will that sound sick <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. so so and then that's the thing is like we're kind of knocking, you know, two birds with one stone because we're able to, uh, he can do like a drum machine track on Guitar Pro and play it for me. And I'll sit there right next to him and I'll jam it with real guitars. Like, shum, 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 shum. Yeah. like okay, we approve of that. So yeah. let's tap it in, even though it sounds like shit in Guitar Pro. <laughs> yeah. And so now I'd say, I mean, I'm sure he agrees with me. This is probably the most like catchiest, heaviest, well-structured music we've ever made By with far. this new album. So. Yeah. I'm really happy how that's coming out with a new way of writing. Mm -hmm. So I guess I have a more technical question, though, as you're doing that. I, I think the last full length has some sort of spastic qualities to it in... Like I, that's a compliment, by the way. You know, like <laughs> riff that. salad. <laughs> you riff salad. That's riff salad, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the tempo has got to be, you know, there's got to be different different tempos and stuff so do you have like a click track that you need to sort that you need to sort of program and work into there yeah so we actually um i think it might have been it was sometime in vegas like a long time ago like playing live because i always practice too much oh, yeah. i mean like a hundred percent of the time you know just because ah, that's what everyone told me to do when i was a kid and it's like i still <laughs> do it and it's awesome right and so when we played uh the show in vegas um i never did it live and so you know, I've got the adrenaline and like, you know, super early on in terms of like playing shows, got the, you know, nerves going and stuff and kind of just accidentally bumped like our whole setup, probably like 25 to 30 BPM, you know, and I didn't realize it. And there's some like, what the fuck are you, doing, dude? you know, <laughs> I can't tell. And uh, so after that, it, it, I was kind of sat down, you know, not, not literally, you know, but it was like, all right, well, let's do the book, click tracks. And uh, yeah, so we do, we have click tracks. I played them live um i've been doing that for fucking like four or five years now at the very least and uh it's awesome because it, it keeps i get the thing that some people are like oh no you want to have it look like raw live and that's cool i like it for stuff especially like with iniquitous deeds because it's really really technical a lot of the drum stuff is like very difficult so it, it keeps you grounded it keeps you anchored to where you're not going to like totally fuck yourself on some fill when you're going too fast you know and then the adrenaline just makes you hit harder as a drummer at least you know uh so yeah the click tracks it is i mean i've gone through and detailed everything you know very specifically and i actually i when we <laughs> used to tour on incessant um i would just have the guitar pros playing in my <laughs> ears so all i had was just click track with the guitar pros he's like i don't hear you guys at all so yeah. don't fuck up <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> play like the computer <laughs> yep. exactly yeah <laughs> yep which it's honestly kind of nice because uh like you know me and chris our, our bass player like <clears throat> let's say if he goes off or, or like a little bit right as long as me and him are on that original tempo he'll go right back onto it because he's hearing it in his headphones on the midi but then he's also on the same tempo the same metronome yeah while we're bobbing our heads so <laughs> when he fucks up me and chris just keep playing like normal and then he eventually, you know, or quickly will come right back on. So it's well, the only time it's actually been a problem is when I like hit the wrong song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, whoa, yep. dude, what is yep. this? 
So you just kind of just try to rip the earplugs out, which sucks. I don't want to do that, obviously, but eh, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when was the last uh, show that you guys played? It was Vegas, right? Yeah, Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas Death Fest. 2017. 17. Yeah. Well, uh, it's been a minute. A, while. a little yeah. bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of life happening in between that. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I can't wait to get back out. Yeah. Do you guys have any plans or you're not going to even think about it until the album's ran? Uh, yeah, that's the thing is like we all kind of got together a while ago and we're like, look, you know, it's been fucking years. You know, any any kind of show we play is going to require some sort of preparation or playing old. I haven't played these old songs in fucking forever. Yeah. So yeah. I'd have to sit down and learn that. And they are really, no they actually are a little bit even more noty than the new material. Um, but regardless, it's like, let's put all every inch of that time into getting this record done. So it's like, it may not even have to be released. We just want to at least get it recorded before we start playing shows. That way it's like, all right, it's done. Yeah. That's, you know what that's I mean? The, so from the, you know, music, like standpoint of us being the guys playing these songs, like that's the biggest milestone, you know? Yeah, but I, I that's mean, that's awesome, you know? Sorry, go ahead. No, well, like you're going to be playing shows, but like you don't want people to come to the show expecting, you know, the 2015 album when that's clearly not what they're going to get. They're going to get like, you know, nine, what is it, 80% new stuff? I mean, that sounded like what you were, what you're going for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we, like I said, this is like, we really do, I don't think I've ever been as high off making music as I have been with this, with this new album. It's just, I don't know, I just really believe in it more than any of the other music that I've done. And once we finally do get to playing that live, we really want to play a lot of it. You know, we're going to play some old incessant songs, obviously, to cater to our fans and other stuff like that. But like, we're like, hey, we really want you to check this out yeah, so this, we're this eager is for it. that yeah the new songs that's iniquitous thieves like yeah that stuff is cool yeah i mean i still like the songs i don't mean it's not like i'm shitting on it but it's, yeah <laughs> it's just not how can you not shit on it <laughs> yeah it's like it's not, you know it's uh no i mean i, I do I, i'm not a fan of the ep personally but like the the last album i, I do like a lot um but it's totally different you know i mean if i was yeah. to like set out to write an album right now or like how many years ago when we started with this one it's like yeah i mean i was don't want to do that again i want to do yeah. like specific things differently and a lot of that was actually kind of what we learned from touring on that mm -hmm. um like oh this song is a uh, you know putting people to sleep right, every crowd night. killer like, right, this yeah, one we'll hypes them up yeah and, yeah, you know. yeah so just kind of always taking notes and trying to learn from. well that's the thing we kind of designed some of these song structures like we even imagine just people standing in the crowd and like oh what if you heard that like oh shit honey, <laughs> yeah. nastier, dude oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like yeah. just stupid shit like that yeah <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see if that happens when we yeah. get there. <laughs> <laughs> um before we started taping we were talking about skeletal remains you want to you want to go into that uh, for a second yeah this, so this is on the wall obviously yeah super <laughs> super ripper of plug <laughs> yeah i know right um yeah super cool so i mean uh a, there's been a lot of you know the kind of osdn uh stuff coming out of the past on um, however many years but skeletal was really like the first one that that really like jumped out at me it was like oh this is awesome dude i mean it's it's still fast it's like punishing and it sounds super pissed off um uh, i mean chris is a monster vocalist you know and, and all the dudes are are you know super gnarly in their own right so um yeah no super super big fans of it and then just recently as we were talking about before they uh they i think just finished up a tour and uh you know we live up in the oaklandish area they came through and played oakland um and uh actually crashed over here and that's when i when i got that i was like oh yeah you know leave a little piece <laughs> behind you know so but yeah cool dudes shout out to pierce Drummer, cool dude, ripper, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, and then one other thing I have uh, notes for is just to talk about New Standard Elite. Um, there, you know, I know, well, there's a whole thing with, with you guys and in, in, inherent disease, I think. And so let's maybe talk about that a little bit. Okay, so uh, back when... Uh, we did. We actually played our first show. Uh, we made a bunch of these uh, these little demo discs, and we actually went to Office Depot and got the whole 
you know, you could buy those sticky back, uh, like little sticker printouts that you could put on. Yeah, so yeah. We just did some shitty ones of those, and we went out to our first show and just like gave EPs out to everybody and saw that. And I guess uh, it was like Cameron Omasi, right? Or so, it was someone. It was someone. Some 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 someone who was either at the show or we just released the music, and he sent it to Dan of NSC, and he was just kind of starting out the label, and uh, so he hit us up like a week after that show. And we had talked about stuff and, you know, you know, different dynamics of that. And uh, we ended up signing with him like a week after that. So it was just kind of like, oh, all right, fuck yeah. So he released that EP, you know, because we had self-released it before. Mm. And then a week later, he had released it. And this is when there was only like six bands on his label or we something like that. We were like the fourth yeah. band on the label. So this is like right when he started out, you know. And uh, yeah, Dan is... Uh, He's like one of the the most straight up and just professional and amazing people I've ever met in my life. Like he's just yeah, 100% for the music and supporting the bands and just a really, really solid dude with a good vision. And um, so, yeah, he's the drummer for Inherit Disease as well. And it's funny because Obi, you know, their vocalist, he's now our vocalist, right? So, um, and Inherit Disease is a huge influence. That, that influenced me like crazy, you yeah. know? That was a huge influence for us. This will transcendence, yeah, especially. Yeah, that is the, the shit, yeah. that album right there. So yeah. that, that was actually inspired us musically. And then when, you know, the stars kind of aligned, we were looking for a new vocalist later. He's, you know, he's a good friend of ours. He would always come to our shows and buy out like the whole, like, I want everything yeah we're like it's crazy. Yeah. all right fuck yeah, yeah dude <laughs> and uh so yeah obi's a really cool dude dan's a really cool dude they're all you know it's just all around just an amazing thing now, matt did you do anything with them or something oh I, yeah i did i played um uh vegas to 2018 2018 i yeah. think yeah i don't remember why dan couldn't make it I, but he wasn't able to it was just like one show Okay. And so, uh, and we, I think we were, we'd already played. We played a few shows with mm -hmm. Obi. Obi had been in the band for a couple, couple of years at that point. He was like, "Hey, man, do you uh, do a hair disease?" I was like, "Yeah, I would love to do that." You know, so um, had had a little bit, a little bit of notice. Uh, learned the set, went down to somewhere SoCal, jammed with them a couple days, and then went and played the played the fest. It was awesome. It was a good time. Those are super cool dudes uh obviously really awesome music to play and it is it is difficult i mean dan is a really really good drummer i don't know why people don't talk about him more because he's the stuff Very he plays is, it's really really he's so tight too you mm -hmm. know so trying to keep that in mind he looks like, so relaxed when he's playing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> exactly just <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's awesome <laughs> yep but uh, yeah man, that, was, that was super fun i mean he's got he's got like you know a wife two kids he's running a record label working a full-time job yeah. so he's like he's up to his neck and that's why i admire him so much because he is the ultimate hard worker you know his, his heart's in it 100 percent. so he's the nicest you know, dude ever yeah much, you know you yeah. know that aligns with us so well and you know we kind of essentially grew up together with the label that's that was like 10 years now almost because the EP was 2011, yeah. right? Yeah. So 2012. 2012. Yeah. But right. Yeah. Damn, coming up on it. Yeah. Right so a lot of history with Dan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Love you, Dan. He's got a shitload of stuff on his on his label now. It, there's oh, like yeah. a lot of stuff it's expanded on there. like crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys ended up. I I, I have never seen it. Uh, but you guys did a DVD with them too, with uh, with a few different bands. DVD. The Foothills. No, I shit. I had some note about it, and I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't think we ever did. A TV. Did we do a DVD thing at some point? I don't know. We had we've had a couple like live things filmed that I don't think. I think one of them's up on YouTube, but uh, I don't know. I have no DVD. idea. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Was it from a tour or something? Yeah, like, that's it, so it might have been from our embodied, embodied uh, torment. Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, distant yeah. tube, cerebral fusion. That was a mm -hmm. fucking. Wait, why are you tour. making it like I'm crazy? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No. It was. Uh, no. It was distant tomb was doing it, and uh, oh yeah. That's yeah. Right. We we were just kind of along for the ride, you know. Um, I don't. I know. I yeah. I, Joe did. Joe Ridson was the dude that's filming it. Super co cool guy. Also. Uh, got a you know hook me up with a drum cam somewhere in Denver. Or something oh yeah, like that. that's right. Um, but uh, yeah, no, they they did release the whole thing eventually, 
Um, I haven't seen it in a while. I don't even think I've seen it. I don't it. think I even realized we were like in that, dude. Yeah, I don't even think I've seen it. <laughs> to be honest, well, that's I why really I said I didn't see it. it. I just, I saw the note that you guys had done a DVD and I was like, oh, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I, I was looking for it on YouTube. I couldn't find it. I was I, like, I was a little annoyed that I, you know, but. Yeah, I, we, I, we were like, like, on tour adjacent to a DVD filming. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, as far as tour opportunities go, the the like last two tours we did were like dreamlike to us. You know, it's the first one, Distant Tomb, Cerebral Fusion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like Delusional Parasitosis, and the second one, Defeated Sanity, one of our favorite bands. You know what I mean? And our homies from Scotland, Iniquitous Savagery. Yeah. Shout out. So yeah. yeah, you know, we didn't we haven't done many tours, but the tours we have done have been like memorable. Fucking it's, bangers. Yeah. Yeah. Really fortunate. I actually I feel like I saw you guys um at Lucky 13 with Defeated oh, Sanity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the yeah. Like, hallway of a of yes. a yeah. Did I remember the show that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in the back. Yeah, yeah. and it was like I, a strip club in the front. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was and a good yes, show, dude. man. Yeah. That was a good show. Yes, I, yeah, because I, I remember I was like, oh yeah, the Iniquity band, like the Iniquitous band. Yeah, 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 both of us. Yeah, yeah. 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 Deeds of Iniquity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, dude. That's that's where I first I first heard about you guys from that. Sh- like when I I went to that show nice. and uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's so awesome. Wait, you, yeah. you were there. You were there. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. no shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I that just was, remember that drinking a, a, really, uh, a really strong coffee before that, and it was amazing. Because <laughs> 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 that show, if I remember correctly, it was like late, it was like late as shit. Like, Defeated Sanity played at like one in the morning or something. Yeah, I think it was a was pretty it really? late show. Jeez. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, uh, because I remember the guy, my buddy, I went with, like, was t- took a nap in his car because he was, <laughs> <laughs> he was so tired. But yeah, cool. Hell yeah, it was pretty packed in there too, if I remember. Yeah, yeah. it was like yeah. a yeah. shows throw down. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a great spot. I love that place. It's so wacky. Hell yeah. Yeah, seriously. <clears throat> I have so it's many scary. memories of doing those super late shows when I was a teenager, but I could never do that, like as <laughs> yeah. an old man. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like forget it not into it man yeah I, I mean it's i remember like when i was younger you think like, oh dude like want to like headline something you know and it's like kind of kind of just sucks actually uh, having to do that, that. You know? yeah it's brutal man yeah i mean it's now, whatever i'll play i'll play whatever i can obviously yeah. i'm yeah. trying to complain you know it's awesome but, <laughs> yeah it's uh it's not uh it's i don't know it's not the dream i thought it was you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one of my famous stories is I, I would come home from the city because I, I live close enough to New York where I would go to see shows in New York and come home. And, you know, this is when I was young, super young. And uh, I would come home at literally six in the morning from from being at a concert. <laughs> and my parents would be up and they'd be like, boy, you're up early. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to get a start to the day. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And of course, yeah. yeah, I'd be napping like fucking two hours later. But uh, yeah. yeah. No, I think the the latest I've ever played, uh, I don't. Yeah, I know we touched on hair disease. I play in, I played drums in Gorgasm too. We played in uh, Obscene Extreme. If you're familiar with that festival, oh, hell yeah, in, uh, Czech Republic. That's sick. Yeah, it was awesome, man. But we didn't play until like two in the morning. <laughs> oh, dude, what are you kidding me, bro? Oh, that's yeah, brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> it was a long. Day. Uh, yeah, that's that's like the definition of brutal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it dude. was fun though dude they that crowd they they threw it down it was i don't know all about the party over there yeah, oh yeah so, that's so yeah, sick that was killer <laughs> <laughs> so i got a question for nico i was watching some videos before and i saw a youtube video of you playing this like crazy ass like hr geiger looking guitar oh the guitar <laughs> yeah yeah what's what is that that monstrosity it looks so sick <laughs> uh so that, that's something i actually i don't know if you guys are aware i do artwork as well um so that's actually one of my art pieces that's my first experiment doing like a sculpture on a guitar so that's just kind of a random experiment in my mind and i, I chose my shittiest guitar to do on of course <laughs> and so uh yeah that's just just that's some of my art that i made cool dude that's sick yeah, yeah. thanks man glad you did yeah it. yeah i gotta oh, i yeah. can't believe i didn't see that then that's like uh, first of all, I love Geeger, so if it looks like oh, nice. k- kind of like that, that oh, you're gonna like, love it then. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's that's. I mean, I don't know if you guys are aware of John Zig. He's like, you know, he does all my tattoos. Uh, he's done like memorable artwork for like suffocation, discord. He did, he did, like, he did, our, he did yeah. our recent yeah, album, yeah. Incessant <laughs> hallucinations. Yeah, 
Um, so he's like a huge influence to me and he's very Giger inspired. And uh, obviously Giger is a huge influence to me as well as other horror stuff. So I just kind of incorporate all those influences and stuff. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was very sick. Thanks, man. Is, is that something <laughs> you could ever do as a commission or or is it just yeah, like... So... Right now, man, I wish I could split my life into three different lives because it's like, you know, I work full time. I'm doing the band thing. I've got the artwork. So like, you know, uh, I do commissions. Yes. It's just kind of right now I had to close them off because, you know, I'm going to be moving to Arizona in six months. Um, I'm trying to get this album done. You know what I mean? Working full time and all that crap. So uh, I'll do I do commissions, but it just it just depends on what time of things are, you know, what's going on in my life, you know? So, yeah. Well, dude, you spent how long on that thing? Too? Oh yeah, that, that, that was that was like a good two month experiment. Yeah. That so I had to look up like how to fucking and that guitar was all white before, so I actually had to refinish it in black. So I had to, I looked up all this guitar crap and I got two K clear, which is like automotive clear sealer because I wanted it to be like legit. You know, I had to figure out how to glue the the sculpture onto it and blend it in. So it was it's time staking shit. You know. Yeah. So, so what is the actual material like the sculpture made of? Uh, so that particular guitar is uh, it, the sculpture part of it is polymer clay um, <clears throat> glued on and then blended in with resin. So it looks like it was like part of the guitar. I didn't mm -hmm. want it to look like it was just just like slapped. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm a perfectionist. So I'm like, <laughs> I'll fucking go the extra mile. Um, but uh, I made a mold of it, actually. So I'm probably going to put that on another guitar and that would be of resin. So the, nice. the materials are endless in this shit. It's like. I could take up the whole time of this podcast talking. About it, so don't get me started. <laughs> we'll, we'll do. We'll do a part two. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, and I think that's what people don't understand about labors of love. You know, it's like, oh, can you do this for me? And they'd be like, dude, that took me a hundred hours. <laughs> yeah. Even if you're ten bucks, dude, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Even if you paid me five bucks an hour, yeah, you're yeah. already looking at five hundred, if not a thousand. Like exactly. So how is this going to work? Right. Right. Exactly. And I'm not working for two bucks an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, the same goes with, like what we're talking about, like DIY recording, you know? I mean, th this guy and Chris, our bass player, they were way more like, they just know so much about recording. And that is just insane amounts of hours of tweaking and all that kind of shit. Like, yeah, it it's insane. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but I've, you know, had many, 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 many hours of mistakes to learn from. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's... I don't know. I get better, a little bit better every time, you know. So, yeah, this album, when we finally do it, will hopefully be the best sounding thing, you know, between myself and Chris, especially if ever, you know, recorded and mixed and stuff like that. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm confident. I mean, it's it's gonna sound awesome, I'm sure, because if it doesn't sound awesome, we're just not gonna release it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you just start yeah. over. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's gonna sound awesome, or it's gonna sound like nothing. Yeah, yep. exactly. Delete. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah not so afraid you, to do that plug, dude <laughs> yeah for real so you've been putting stuff down already then some of it no like recording wise yeah no, no not, even, so, not there yet not there yet no so we i mean we have um well i mean we've been doing scratch tracks like he has i haven't yeah, we have just, listenable yeah. like scratch tracks like where i'm playing to uh like this guy fucking genius he sampled his whole drum kit and then made a drum machine out of it so it's like the drum machine of his fucking drum kit so it's really cool to record scratch tracks to that because it's like a realistic what is this even going to sound like so we have yeah. a, a scratch track album that we always refer to and our bass player is improvising on it sending us notes and so we have we have recorded stuff but it's not like anything near album ready yet you know yeah and and i'm i'm assuming that you're gonna stay uh with new standard elite yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, I have a note here that Matt left to do a punk band at some point. Oh, Wait, what? Bro, oh, that's how did that's you from, see that? That's from oh. the interview. I'm pretty sure oh, that's in the Monica cool? interview. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> uh, no fucking way, dude. Yeah, wow, that's a blast in the past, dude. Yeah, this is... So, we've been... Oh, man. I don't even know how long we've known each other. Since 2009, at least. Something crazy like that, yeah. dude. Yeah, and so, um, like, freshman year, I, you know, like, what, 
basically ran into like some new like a new crowd of people and stuff and so i was like oh i'm friends with these people and stuff and oh they they play in a band too but this punk was like oh i don't want to play death metal anymore that's stupid so i went and did like some <laughs> some weird like funk punk band and just like Ooh. went all into that i mean <laughs> dude some of the some of the songs were pretty cool um but uh, it was fun it was definitely it was fun. hella fun yeah, yeah no fun. and they were you know i mean it, it was it was appropriate for the time but i dude i don't think that was even like a year I don't even know. It was probably less than eight. Yeah, years. and I was like, oh, fuck this. Like, I want to play Plasky's, dude. So, yeah. And I didn't play drums in it. I played keyboard, dude. Oh. <laughs> like, yeah. I wasn't good at it either. I just, you know, <laughs> played. <laughs> it was like little melodies and shit. Well, and the, and the like, the butterfly effect moment is when, because he was doing that, I was at home, like, you know, I didn't have a band or anything. So I was just recording random songs of my own and stuff. And that's what the, those were the three songs that were the three or four of that EP. And mm -hmm. I sent him tomb of divine supremacy and you remember this he yeah. said he heard the you know dude, dude, uh, dude, dude, dude he heard the pinches again he's like oh man that makes me want to play death metal again yeah and then that's how it all started i know pinch harmonics <laughs> and punk rock yeah there's you know. no pinch yeah. <laughs> like, oh i miss pinch harmonics <laughs> yeah <for real. laughs> honestly yeah, yeah exactly not the keyboard <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow that's a deep cut holy shit that's awesome yeah and that that <laughs> I did not expect that to come up. That's interesting. Hell yeah, dude. DVD we didn't even know we were a yeah, part of. I know, right? Digging back to high school. Holy shit, man. This is dig digging deep tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But I mean that I mean that I mean that's fair because that's what you know led to us rejoining on something that yeah. turned into what everything is today. So yeah, man. All thanks to the pinch harmonics. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and actually, it's funny because I remember when I wrote that song. Uh, how old were we then? We weren't even eight, or I wasn't even eighteen. I wasn't. Yet. I was in. Yeah, no. were you eighteen yet? No, no, I definitely wasn't yeah. eighteen. So I remember being grounded uh, at my at my parents' house. <laughs> I was probably sixteen or something. Yeah, and uh, I remember like super late at night. I just listened to a ton of. I don't know if you guys know Futuridity, the band Futuridity, uh, brutal death metal band from Italy. Super sick. Um, but they use a lot of, they're like crazy with pinch harmonics. Yeah. You know, Chi Chi, the guitar player, is just an insane person with, with pinch harmonics. So I listened to that like crazy and I was like, oh, I want to make a song with like hella pinch harmonics. And that's how that song happened. So just a little background on that. <laughs> Dude, that's what happens when I listen to like Malignancy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, <it's so> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, malignancy is sick. I yeah. love malignancy. Super nice. Oh yeah, dude. Danny's the funniest guy in death metal. <laughs> oh, he's the nicest dude too, man. Yeah, I don't know him personally, but I've like met him at a couple of shows, and he's always like just the sweetest dude. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so friendly. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, while we're talking about other bands, we dropped some names before. Uh, let's just talk about who we want to plug and and who we like to play with. And oh uh, man, our other that's gonna be endless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just a few it's just <laughs> i would say first and foremost probably shout out again our, our homies and nick with a savagery you know, oh yeah brothers Big and nick, what you did, that's you know? right yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no fucking love those dudes yeah their work they're, it's funny they're, they're like neck to neck with us on releases because they did that oh, 2015 yeah. release yeah. they're yeah. working on new material and right about the same area we are with our process yeah they just signed a willow tip i yeah. think too yeah oh, okay nice. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, and nice. they have they have a single out right now too, so we can have you guys check that out. It's really sick shit. Yeah, really good. Yeah, man. Other than them, I mean, I fucking, I mean, all the bands we've played with, I think, have been pretty awesome. Um, we just we kind of run deep with them because like we played a, a random show in Oakland. I don't remember how we got on the show, and they just happened to be playing it. They were on tour with what? Who was it? Psychiatric and it was Savagery. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that was with Sean Whitaker. Oh yeah, yeah. Sean Whitaker. Uh, what was the other band? Psychiatric Dave, regurgitation. Dave was in that, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's in Devourment now. Yeah, you know Devourment. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, so just kind of randomly ran into them. It was like, oh, we're all like the same age. Oh, you know, we released our EP then. We released an album, you know, the same year or whatever. Both our bassists are named Chris. <laughs> yeah. It was just weird. You know, yeah. So. But, uh, and your name is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great name. It's great name. Yeah. yeah, it's a great name. Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. never know who the fuck is talking to me or talking to the next Chris or five <laughs> other Chris's. Uh, yeah, true. for real. Yeah, for real, man. For real. 
<laughs> um, I, I'm not sort of at the end of my notes. What? Uh, anything else we 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 want to plug or side projects or anything else? I mean, we we touched upon side projects a little bit. Um, is there anything else that that? Uh, yeah, tell, tell him about your. Uh, he's got a solo yeah, project I, going I, on. I do. It's too. yeah. It's called Niving. Mm -hmm. Um, I have an EP. It's also the new standard elite. It was also released in 2015. <laughs> yeah. um, and I'm, I'm working on a, a full length. I mean, I have like, it's, it's like basically done. I just, I mean, that's just, it's like recorded. I just need to write lyrics for like a song and a half. And it's been like that for like a year and a half. <laughs> I just haven't done it, you know? So, but I'm hoping that'll come out. I mean, that one, it'll, I'm sure I'll be able to get it out next year. Also on Newston Elite. And that's uh, very kind of similar uh brutal death uh probably i don't know exactly how you'd say it was different than iniquitous um but similarly kind of wacky and all over the place and just fucking weird the weirder the better is kind of a way i've always approached a lot of like especially the shit that i write you know so uh yeah obviously with iniquitous especially when was the new album gets out and stuff and then with the solo project that's yeah it's just weird brutal death metal you know it's cool yeah yeah, I mean, I, and all self-contained because he's doing every yeah. single instrument, all the production, yeah. the fucking, just everything. So it's insane. Everything but the art because I can't, insane. can't draw. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. And then, and then you got Gorgasm. Obviously, I play you know? Gorgasm. Yeah. Shout out to my fucking Gasm boys. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, then I've, th that's the main things I've, been doing over the past few years like you said with inherited disease i've played with a number of bands uh on the road played with incinerate as well um total fucking homies there Sup, jesse <laughs> yeah yeah dude uh <laughs> and play with Pete trinity also the pinch harmonic band we were talking about <laughs> the pinch harmonic band. Oh, those guys are animals dude look it up yeah and the many yeah, atonement is uh, oh. the last one it's it's unbelievable if you're if you like malignancy uh, yeah you'd love future yeah I, I honestly yeah. think so because it's you know you gotta you gotta get like a few listens in before you can grasp it but well worth it but you did the tour with them so there's tons of videos of him mm -hmm. playing drums for them live yeah on youtube too you can check out yeah she was she was awesome man. <clears throat> i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to find those so send them along oh yeah we'll, we'll send you yeah we'll send yeah, you yeah. so stuff. again uh, by the time this comes out check all that shit out in the description whatever you guys send me boop, right down there in the bottom definitely definitely and i you know i'm i'm pretty much just purely iniquitous deeds that's you know me and him started the band that's you know that's our little baby and uh between that and artwork i just i don't really want to tack anything on top of that because it's just time you, you know what i mean it's, <laughs> yeah. it's i just can't you know yeah. and i, and I kind of like that it keeps it you know keeps me really focused on one thing musically and that's just i, I like to work like that you know so yeah, are, are you guys going to be able to do tours at some point or, or is oh, that? Oh yeah, we, we, def, we definitely plan on doing it. Like I said, it's just, we want to be able to hit those tours with this new material, yeah. with new album artwork, shirts, designs, just like a whole new band, yeah. you know, because we've gone from EP to Incessant is a huge style change. And then going from Incessant to this new album is still another style change. And we feel like we've really finally found our sound with this album so we really want to yeah. go out with like a bang on this one yeah for you sure. know cool fucking i'm like so psyched to hear this stuff oh yeah I, man i mean i know it's gonna be a while but uh it'll be uh, we'll, we'll try to make it worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh well one thing I, it's since you know i could bring this up is uh the the album recording process is going to be you know, like he was saying, making so many mistakes, you learn the best from that. And I think this new album recording process is going to be a breeze compared to what we dealt oh, with. Oh, yeah. Because especially the, I mean, <laughs> not a lot of people know the blood, sweat, and tears that went into Incessant. Mostly tears, dude. Yeah, yeah mostly <laughs> tears. <laughs> mostly yeah. tears, for sure. <laughs> you know, but like, uh, so the first time, uh, it was the drums. Yeah, it was the drums. Yeah. Because we had done, he had done the whole album on drums. I started recording guitar to it uh, before he was even done, you know, doing crossfades and stuff like that. And then he realized halfway through editing it, oh shit, the snare pitch changed yeah. in the middle of the album. And he's like, 
It was terrible. Uh, yeah, we got to re-record this. And I had already started recording guitars to his takes. So I was like, yeah, we got to scrap all that too, you know? <laughs> yeah. And keep in mind, we're taking like time off of work and shit and stuff like that. And then so we redo it. And then he makes an effort every time to like, let me get the, the snare in the right pitch on every single song. So we got that done. And then I think I'm like halfway into recording. And I was using uh, EMGs, like active pickups. And I was recording in his little like uh, little computer area with the studio monitors and all that stuff. And then we were listening back and we were reamping actually four songs in. And I'm doing four tracks. So it's a pain yeah, in the fucking tracks. ass <laughs> to record that, right? And so four <laughs> tracks in, we're listening to the reamp and you share. Oh no, I was picking it up in the fucking house. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah. dude, are you fuck? And we're just like, yeah, yeah. we got to erase everything. We didn't know so, that was a thing. Yeah. And so I was, <laughs> yeah. I was, I was like, uh, I was about to burst. And I was like, I'll be right back. Yeah. And I went outside and I was like, fuck! <laughs> yeah, because it's been two weeks. I don't get PTO two weeks off of work. Yeah. Everything is erased. I'm like, you know what? I'm just, we're going to do DIs and I'm going to do this shit one more to fuck this shit. Yeah. So, it's just oh, like, dude, what a nightmare. Oh my God. That was fucking terrible. Yeah. But you know, Hey, we had three different takes of the album, yeah. you know, so. Yeah, we're not doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, learn the lessons. Always, uh, yeah. no matter what, wear your headphones when you're tracking <laughs> guitars. They pick up the drums and the monitor. Oh, my God, that was yeah. terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. More power to you guys. I would I would have just quit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we always tell each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, quit oh, I quit the band. The band. <laughs> yeah, too much work. I quit. <laughs> I quit. That's yeah, close, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I but... feel bad because I've I've done recordings where I've picked up where we've picked up the 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 drums. Oh no guitar, shit! Okay. And, and then I'm just, we're just like. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should have just said that, dude. <laughs> okay, no, no one noticed, but well, that's how much of like anal perfectionist yeah. we can be about our, our craft, yeah. I guess. You know, it's just like, nope, we're gonna fucking take the extra time, even if it delays everything. We gotta do it right. We gotta do it right. I think I re-recorded it again after that. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, if you're gonna erase all that, I might as well just re-record it too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my Idiot. god. <laughs> and we had a tour. Yeah. We actually had a tour um, lined up, so there was a little bit of overhead pressure for the release yeah, too you know so that's where our again the whole you know we're not playing shows we're not and that's the thing that's cool is we have a good deal with with dan where it's like hey look we're slow writers we don't like to rush our crap you know we really want it to flow naturally and he's totally cool with that yeah you know so that's really cool so we can, man. yeah we don't have to like put a, a you know a, rec a release date and then we haven't even recorded this thing yet you know? yeah we don't want that <laughs> Yeah, just in case you have to do the drums three times. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing four tracks. I'm doing two <laughs> tracks. Yeah. For sure. And I, li I like the sound better. I know there's always a there's always going to be an argument about it. It's like sports. But uh, I prefer the two tracks. Um, not just because it's easier. Okay. Not just because it's easier. Oh, no. But. <laughs> I'm, 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 with you. I'm with you, man. I think it's. I, I it can never. Better. Yeah. The pick attack mainly. Yeah, if you don't get say, those yeah. pick attacks 100% on on all four of those tracks, which is really hard to, then it's going to sound a little mushy no matter what. Yeah. It's the, the clarity and the articulation is on yeah. the yeah. tracks. Totally. Yeah. You get two solid tracks, that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just too much. Yeah, it is. I mean, if you're doing, I guess it depends. If you're doing like tons of leads and atmospheric stuff, I'm sure there's room for it. But yeah, it's like a doom band, you know, yeah. like something yeah. that's like big and kind right. of, you know, yeah, or like a sure. like a cavernous death metal, like an incantation right. style. It's People like, have yeah. three guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like arena rock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 And, and and speaking of that too, um, you know, earlier on we were we were throwing around ideas of maybe having a second guitarist because oh, yeah. you know having that stereo effect but you know we we're huge bass fans and <laughs> the the idea of having um chris be like a quote lead bassist yeah. right um it gives him a lot more room to shine not only live but we we always try to get him to shine on the recording and uh it gets him to be more creative because of the like you know he's going to do different harmonies he's going to play different stuff over stuff i'm doing and on this new material, especially, um, it's going to really shine because of, we're doing some weird shit. Like, like the end of our album is like, like this weird whammy thing. 
uh, just imagine that like on crack, but also brutal too. Like I can't even explain it properly, but we had to, you know, come to Chris and be like, well, what did we tell him? Like, oh yeah. All right. You either got a, he's got, you got cause a lot of his like, you know, it's like whammy bar shit, you know? Yeah. And so we told him it was like, uh, oh, well, what was it? It was like, cause a lot of it's like really low too. Yeah. So we told him, like, all right, you got three options. You can either like get a seven string bass, you know, and have an extra string below it. Well, uh, you can get a bass with a whammy bar, or you're out of the band. You're out of the band. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they make, do they make basses with whammy bars? Is yeah, you got uh, Les Claypool yeah. from Primus. Yeah. That's how he does some of his weird shit. Oh, man, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, totally unrated. We're looking for a bassist. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, we just, <laughs> yeah. just You know how a bassist is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, but so far, the, the stuff he's done for, for oh, the awesome. new track, is yeah. it, it, it's insane. Yeah, he's, and, he's a monster. And you're going to hear and hear a lot more bass on this album and you're going to hear a lot more like weird harmony shit that he's doing like to i mean he's sliding doing other shit to like mimic my whammy bar movement it, it's crazy so yeah it's you know fun, dude. yeah yeah it's awesome Sick. can't wait to hear it hell yeah <laughs> so we, plan, we plan on sticking as as a four piece we just yeah. really like the sound and dynamic of that even though it's not really like you know traditional i guess you you know you could say uh, yeah, well, we've known each other for fucking. Hours. Yeah, we all work together so well. Yeah. It's solid. I'm super fortunate to have, you know, Matt, Chris, Obi, solid members. You know, no drama, no bullshit. Yeah. It's just that's important in a band. It's a fucking marriage between four fucking five people, whatever. You know, totally. It's, if you don't vibe and you know get along together, it's not going to work. In the end of the day, yeah. You know, fuck yeah, cool. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. If you, unless you're in a band, you don't really understand the band is a family type of thing. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm sure Peter will say the same thing. I, <laughs> I've definitely experienced it. It's it's yeah. true. Like yeah, um, that's you, you fight, but at the end of the day, that's it's like family. It's straight yeah. up like family. It's just know? like family. And touring is always the test for that. Touring, yeah, definitely, hundred percent. You're all like fucking unshowered, cranky, driving fucking ten hours to another state in a van with eight dudes and yeah. gear and merch. Eight dudes and, and eight seats, dude. Oh, that yeah, defeated you're, Sandy you're just, tour. You're like just like yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That defeated Sandy tour, yeah. dude. Fucking was crazy because we it was forty seven days, right? Not dates, but it was a tour that started and ended on the East Coast, and we got presented with the opportunity, but it was like you know, hey, you gotta provide your own transportation and backline and maybe even Kate, this is where iniquitous savagery came in because yeah. they were from Scotland, you know, and we were the transportation for them too. So we had a 15 passenger van with a full backline, eight dudes, roof racks with all of our personal bags and all of our merch, including some of defeated Sandy's merch on a van. It was yeah. fucking packed. <laughs> and so what we did was, uh, you know, the band, we, this is where James Schuster from Delusional Parasitosis filled in for vocalists to us, for a vocalist for us. Um, shout, shout out to them yeah. and James specifically to crazy yeah. vocalist. Yeah, exactly. um, you know, uh, so we had to drive from California to, was it Maine or uh, what Vermont. state was that? Vermont, think, yeah. right? And we, we played like a show or two along the way. But again, it started and ended in the East Coast. And this was in January. It was a winter yeah. tour too. It was fucking brutal. But we couldn't say no to defeat insanity. Like it was an amazing opportunity. I think we did something like twenty two thousand miles in like forty seven days. Or might even be more than that. It was fucking insane. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, so it was forty seven days. Because yeah. we had to have the week trek to get all the way to the east coast of yeah. California in a fifteen passenger van. And do thirty two days straight. Yeah, go over yeah. there, pick up the the iniquitous dudes, the other iniquitous <laughs> dudes, right? Yeah. And it was the iniquitous van. That's what we yeah, had the, the chat on Facebook. It's the iniquitous yeah, van. Perfect. And so uh, drive all the way there, do the full fucking circle. Uh, last date was in what Philadelphia, yeah. right? And then drive all the way back, right? And that was forty-seven days total. Um, and the fucking drive back was so nerve wracking because of what happened. Oh uh, yeah, you can tell that. Yeah, we we lost. We were fucking. Uh, it was Kansas, right? Yeah, so I think we were in Tulsa. Like we've been hearing like a weird grinding sound for a while. So, yeah, it's probably back not good, fucking you know? drums. And so we tried to get into like a you know shop to get it checked out, and uh, it couldn't fit in like a couple that we finally got appointments with. So, it was like, yeah. fuck. so then we just drove. We had a show in Tulsa, 
and we were playing there and the guys just like takes the shit and just like dumps out like brake dust you know it's like we had no brakes on the rear driver's side and so uh, yeah was, we still had to play a show we had to play another show in ventura and we all had to get back for, for work and shit and uh basically the well, dude, this was like a midas this was like a store it wasn't some dude no but the dude that we were talking to yeah, uh, yeah. yeah he, he brought us over and was yeah. like do you want the bad news or the bad news <laughs> and we were like yeah fuck he's yeah. like well the bad news is and he like pointed to the ground and it's just all the parts everywhere yeah. it's like the other bad news is uh we can't find parts for this shit yeah and uh you might want to book a hotel and we're like dude are you fucking kidding me like what we got uh so <laughs> we we ended up uh he put the van back together and gave us a little pair of vice grips and just fucking clamped off the back the brake line line, dude. and then we drove the brakes only <laughs> yeah a fucking shit. 15 passenger yeah. van so full of gear yeah, super yeah. sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we we were just looking at you because, like, you know, again, um, the guy was hella cool because I, I remember this pretty specifically. He said when he jacked it up, he's like, "Are you guys in a band?" And we're like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> he's like, he's just like, "Yeah." I noticed when I jacked the car up, it was extra heavy in the back, and he it was cool because the guy because technically they couldn't be like, "Hey, we can't send you out of here safely." You know, you gotta we have to. There's something to do with brakes like that. Or some, some yeah, because kind of you could sue and, them. Right, yeah. exactly. So he was like, you know, uh, you can call it safe if you want to stay here, or I can just, you know, look the other way. I'll, cl- I'll, I'll clamp your <laughs> yeah, brakes yeah. off and just, you know, be very careful and get, get back to California and stuff like that. And we were all just sitting in the lobby like, oh, this yeah. is fucking sketch. But, <laughs> you know, we're going to have to rent a van if because they there was a backing plate to this drum that they couldn't find, and not even in the junkyard. So like, yeah. we can't find this part and we need it to fix it. It was like a, a 3500 Dodge Max 2002, some Bigger weird model. Yeah. And yeah, so they're like, yeah, so you might want to get a hotel. And I, we were like looking at rentals. Like, dude, it'd be like a couple grand to fucking rent a van to drive all of our shit and ourselves back. We'd like be negative. And I think we were like positive, like a little bit because we did good on we merch. And, yeah. you know, we would come home with something, which is amazing for touring. Yeah. You know, usually it's negative. So uh, we were just kind of like, oh, I guess I'll just go like 40 miles an hour and just break <laughs> the uh, So, yeah, we went all the way from fucking Kansas, I think it was, to yeah. California on front brakes only. And holy fuck. <laughs> that was a... Uh, Quite an adventure, for oh, sure. Yeah. Rest in peace, van. Yeah, rest in yeah. peace. We just junked that thing recently. <laughs> that was bummer. Yeah, a lot of history in that yeah. van. So we did the Cerebral Fusion tour with too, and I think yeah. we backlined that too, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, ain't get no van no more. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I. I yeah. <laughs> I. Yeah. I don't know. I, I've I've had some some ups and downs. Uh, you know, when I was doing bands and, and sometimes I, you know, I get regretful of things that did or did not happen. And some people would just be like, dude, what are you talking about? Like, do you know how shitty it is to be on tour? Do all that shit? Like, that's the shit that you, you regret? Like, you fucking insane? <laughs> like, you want to live like that? That's, that's, that's like my favorite what? shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Touring is yin yang, man. Yeah, yeah. It's half, it's half like, anger stress fucking bullshit but then the other half is like this amazing fucking opportunity with your homies and influences and bands meeting people pretty awesome you know it's it's you know you got it you got it's a sacrifice you got to fucking do it to get the the fruits of you know what comes out of a tour and that really doing the defeat sandy one that really like boosted us up a lot because a lot of people that love defeated sandy you know we're in a similar vein of you know brutal death metal as them so there's a lot of good exposure that tour hundred percent you know yeah man cool i i think we'll we'll wrap it up we're sort of getting to be a time i'm not sure how many people are still with us but thank you (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) but uh i really appreciate you guys coming on i mean i I fucking love your first album uh it's fucking awesome and i I really want to hear the new stuff and uh we'll get there right we will. <laughs> yeah, there, the, the biggest news here is there is a baby yeah there is there's a baby. not nothing yeah. there's a baby yeah there's a there's an actual album that is here it's out there it's here so <laughs> cool uh so keep us informed and uh again thanks for coming on and thanks everybody for for watching and uh that's it show's over all right <laughs> thank you oh. out Woo. later <laughs>